In the year 1162, between the rugged landscapes of modern-day Mongolia and Siberia, a legend was born. A man whose name would echo through time and history as the King of Kings, a brutal barbarian turned great conqueror. His name, Genghis Khan. Join us unraveling if Genghis Khan was a ruthless warlord or a visionary leader. The answer, perhaps, lies somewhere in between. His legacy is a testament to the complexities of history, reminding us that even the most formidable conquerors can leave behind a lasting impact that transcends borders and centuries. So let's dig deeper. Genghis Khan embarked on a relentless campaign of conquest. In just 25 years, the Mongol army carved out an empire larger than any the world had ever seen, stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the Caspian Sea, spanning over 10 million square miles, rivaling the size of the African continent and dwarfing even the combined territories of the United States, Canada, Mexico, Central America, and the Caribbean islands. Despite the odds, Temujin rose to power uniting disparate tribes under his command through diplomacy, alliances, and strategic marriages. He proved his leadership prowess by overcoming betrayal, forging lifelong friendships, and building a formidable army that took more than 40 million lives. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel to stay tuned with interesting four-minute capsules about fascinating characters and events. Temujin's military genius was unmatched. He revolutionized warfare with innovative tactics, utilizing skilled archers and cavalry to devastating effect. His conquests were marked by swift and decisive victories, earning him the title of Genghis Khan, meaning universal ruler. He was a skilled warrior that employed several emblematic tactics that ensured his victories. One key strategy was his effective use of cavalry, allowing swift movement across vast distances and surprise attacks on enemies. He also utilized psychological warfare, often feigning retreats to lure enemies into ambushes. Additionally, he organized his troops into decimal units, enabling efficient command and control on the battlefield. Finally, his incorporation of captured enemy soldiers into his own ranks bolstered his forces and weakened his adversaries. These tactics, coupled with his strategic brilliance, solidified Genghis Khan's reputation as one of history's most successful military commanders. One of all his battles stands out as a testament to his unparalleled skill, the Battle of the Khalkha River. In 1223, the Mongol army, led by Genghis Khan's trusted generals, clashed with the forces of the Kievan Rus, a coalition of Slavic and Turkic tribes near the Khalkha River in present-day Ukraine. Despite being outnumbered, the Mongols executed a brilliant tactical maneuver, feigning retreat to lure the Rus forces into a false sense of security. As the Rus pursued, the Mongols swiftly turned the tide, launching a devastating counterattack with their elite cavalry. The Kievan Rus were caught off guard, their lines broken and their morale shattered as the Mongols unleashed a relentless onslaught, showcasing Genghis Khan unparalleled skill, strategy, and ferocity on the battlefield. But Genghis Khan's legacy is not just one of conquest and bloodshed, he fostered a society based on meritocracy, religious tolerance and equality. The Pax Mongolica, or Mongol Peace, facilitated trade and cultural exchange along the legendary Silk Road, ushering in an era of prosperity and innovation. He was indeed a complex figure. While his conquests were brutal, his empire laid the groundwork for modern civilization, and his promotion of trade and cultural exchange reshaped the world, connecting East and West in ways never seen before. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating 4-minute stories.